After a boy named John gets a stuffed toy named Ted for his Christmas present, he instantly makes his new toy his best friend. Because he's struggling to make new friends, John makes a wish before going to bed, saying he wants Ted to be alive so he can have a real friend. The following day, John wakes up only to see that his wish has been granted. He's initially shocked to hear Ted talking, but after the teddy bear says that John's wish brought him alive, he remains calm. He then goes to show his parents, who immediately get scared and tell John to move away from Ted. However, John explains that he wished for it, and this makes his parents think of it as a Christmas miracle. Shortly after, news of a talking teddy bear makes the news, and Ted also gets invited to a TV show. Despite this, Ted and John continue to be best friends, and they also share a lot in common, including their fear of thunder. Because of this, they promise to be best friends who will always be together forever. Many years later, as John grows older, Ted remains a big part of his life, even though he now has a girlfriend named Lori. One day, while the best friends are hanging out at Lori's apartment, John remembers that he's late for his job at a car rental company. As he starts to get dressed, Ted offers to drive him to work, and he agrees. Things go smoothly on the ride to John's workplace, until Ted crashes a car just as he's about to get into the parking lot. John's boss, Thomas, sees this and immediately tells John to see him in his office. When John meets up with his boss, Thomas complains about his lateness to work. He also mentions that John has been messing up at work lately, and it needs to change. John says sorry and promises to do better. Thomas then adds that John needs to behave well for just a few weeks so that he'll be promoted to branch manager. He tells John that the role comes with huge benefits, and it would be bad for him to miss out on it. John agrees to avoid messing up again, and after a while, he leaves Thomas's office. When he returns to the general office, he meets with his colleagues, Tanya and Guy. After exchanging pleasantries, John immediately asks them if they know any good restaurants. As Guy asks why he wants to go to a restaurant, John says he's planning to take Lori to a special restaurant for their fourth year anniversary date. While Guy doesn't seem sure about long-term relationships, Tanya tells John that Lori might be looking for something more than a regular dinner. She says that since it's their fourth year together, Lori might expect him to propose. Despite this, John doesn't seem to agree as he thinks a special date is the right thing to do. When he gets home, John asks Ted about it, and his best friend also agrees that Lori doesn't need a ring to know he loves her. Shortly after, Lori comes in and goes straight to the kitchen to prepare dinner. John asks her about work, and after she says it went well, Ted also makes some jokes, which she happens to like. Later that night, while they're in bed, Lori tells John that he doesn't need to do anything he can't afford for their anniversary. However, he says he's going to do something special because she deserves it. Just as they continue talking about how much they love each other, they hear a loud, thunderous sound, and this gets John scared. Lori looks disgusted by this, especially because Ted also comes into the room to stay with his friend and sing about how much they don't like lightning and thunder. The next day, Lori gets to work looking uncomfortable about how her night went. Her colleagues, Gina and Tracy, ask her about how she's feeling, and she says she's just bothered by how her boyfriend can't sleep through a thunderstorm without Ted. Gina and Tracy then start talking about how they don't get why Lori is still with John. They also advise her to tell John to pick between her and Ted. Despite this, Lori says she's not ready for that, because she's okay with John, even though he needs to change. As they're talking, Lori's boss, Rex, shows up and tells her to come with him to his office. She doesn't seem interested because she knows he'll try to ask her out like he usually does, but he says that's not his plan. However, she follows him to the office, and that's what he ends up doing. Lori says she's not interested because she has a boyfriend, but this doesn't seem to stop Rex, who only keeps talking about how great they would be as a couple. Later that night, John takes Lori to a special restaurant for their anniversary. As they're enjoying their meal, they talk about how they first met, and a couple of other fun things that have happened to them. Shortly after, John presents Lori with a gift, but she looks disappointed to find out it's only a box with earrings. John senses her disappointment and tells her that he'll eventually give her a special ring one day when he's able to afford it. Lori then says she doesn't think John will be able to move forward in his career if he keeps hanging out with Ted. She adds that Ted is slowing him down and he needs to tell his teddy bear to move out. John doesn't seem ready for this conversation, and he tells her to just let them enjoy their anniversary dinner. Shortly after, they head home together, and while John looks for his phone inside the car, Lori enters the apartment, only to see Ted hanging out with some models. While complaining about this, she also sees that the house has been disorganized, so this gets her really angry. Meanwhile, John comes in and initially makes a joke with Ted before realizing how bad the house looks. That night, 
John leaves the house with Ted so they can have a serious conversation. While they're at an aquarium, John tells Ted that it's time for him to move out of Lori's apartment and get a place for himself. Ted feels disappointed, but John says his relationship is at a delicate stage and he doesn't want anything to affect it. Even though Ted doesn't like the fact that Lori is the one making John send him out, he agrees to move out as long as he still gets to hang out with his friend. The next day, John prepares Ted for a job interview at a retail store. Ted doesn't look interested, but despite being rude to the manager, he gets the job. After work that day, Ted meets with John at a park, and while they're talking about how his first day went, a man named Donnie and his son Robert approach them. Donnie says that he has been following Ted's story since John was still young. He then adds that he wants to buy Ted for his son, but John doesn't take this well. He immediately tells Donnie that Ted is not for sale, but the man still leaves his card with John in case he changes his mind. Later that day, John helps Ted move into his new apartment, and the two friends look unhappy to be staying away from each other for the first time in a long time. The next day, Lori thanks John for making the sacrifice to let Ted move out. He then says he doesn't mind and that he's ready to do anything for her. Later that day, while Ted is at work, he sees a new checkout lady named Tommy Lynn and instantly looks interested in her. After a while, he takes a break from work and calls John to come over to his apartment to hang out with him. Even though John doesn't like this idea because he's trying to take his job seriously, Ted manages to convince him to lie to Thomas so he can also get a break. With this, John goes to meet Thomas and lies about Lori getting her arm bitten by a dog. Thomas lets him take the day off, and John takes the opportunity to meet up with his friend. While they're together, they talk about how things are going, and Ted also mentions how he's already close to Tommy Lynn. John is happy to hear about this, and he tells Ted to bring her on a double date with him and Lori. The next day after work, Ted leaves work, only to see Donnie sneak up on him. Donnie tries to get Ted to come with him, but the teddy bear says he's still not ready to be sold to anybody. Shortly after, Tommy Lynn comes out of the store to meet Ted, and together, they head to a restaurant for a double date with John and Lori. When they arrive, things seem to be going well, until Tommy Lynn suddenly takes offense to the way Lori keeps asking her questions about herself. Before things escalate, Ted immediately takes her out of the restaurant while Lori stays with John, who says she should have been gentle with her questions. However, Lori takes offense to this because John didn't try to defend her. She also adds that she got a call from Thomas about her arm. John realizes that Lori now knows that he ran away from work to meet with Ted. She tells him that the fact he's still hanging out with Ted every day is only a sign that he doesn't want to move on. John agrees that he shouldn't have lied to escape work, and with this, he agrees to change his ways. The next day, Lori takes John to a house party at Rex's house to celebrate his company's anniversary. As they arrive, Rex tries to make fun of John, but he doesn't seem to care. While inside the house, Rex says he wants to show John around. The two men then start going around the house until John stops and tells Rex to stop asking Lori out. Rex says sorry and adds that he won't do that again. Before they can continue their conversation, John gets a call from Ted, who tells him to come over to meet one of their favorite TV stars. John says he can't leave because Lori won't be pleased, but Ted manages to convince him. John then tells Rex to cover for him while he meets Ted. As he leaves, though, Rex only takes this as an opportunity to tell Lori so that she can get angry at John. Meanwhile, John arrives at Ted's house, where he meets his favorite TV star, Sam. After introducing himself to Sam, John and Ted party with the other guests at the house until he loses track of time. By the time he realizes that time is far spent, he sees Lori at the house looking for him. He tries to apologize for leaving her at Rex's party, but she seems to have had enough, so she asks for her car keys and leaves him alone. As John is left bothered by this, Ted comes out to check on him. However, John blames Ted for all his problems and says he doesn't want to see the teddy bear again. He eventually leaves for a hotel room where he spends the night. A week later, Rex calls Lori into his office and asks her out to a concert by a singer named Nora Jones. Even though she says it's not a good idea, she eventually agrees to follow him because she has nothing to lose. As they're headed there, Ted sees them, so he goes to tell John about it. John doesn't believe this because he thinks Ted is only trying to turn him against Lori. However, Ted says he's telling the truth and that John needs to stop blaming him for things he willingly accepted to do. They soon get into a fight when John says he wishes he got something else for Christmas instead of Ted. After a few minutes of fighting, they eventually say sorry to each other. Together, they then head over to the concert to see Nora, who happens to be Ted's old friend. Ted manages to help John get on stage to sing a special song for Lori, who looks shocked to see him. 
John's voice doesn't sound as good as he expects, so the members of the audience boo him. As one of them also tries to attack him on stage, John knocks the man back to the ground, and this gets him kicked out. Later that night, Rex tries to get Lori to hate John for embarrassing her, but she says she wasn't embarrassed. She then says she's tired of hanging out with him, and following this, she heads home alone. The next day, Ted goes to see Lori to plead on John's behalf. He tells her that he knows he's responsible for their failing relationship. He also adds that he's ready to leave them alone if she gives John another chance. Even though Lori says Ted doesn't have to leave, he insists that he'll do it. He then tells her where she can find John. As she leaves the house, Ted picks a drink from the fridge and also decides to leave. However, as he opens the door, he's kidnapped by Donnie and Robert. Shortly after, Lori goes to meet John at a restaurant. He says sorry for everything he put her through and mentions that he's ready to leave her so she can be happy. After he's done talking, John leaves Lori at the restaurant and walks out. Elsewhere, Donnie and Robert take Ted to their house, where they have pictures of the teddy bear all over the wall in the living room. Before Ted can say much, Donnie tells him to head to Robert's room so they can play together. As they get to the room, Ted says they can't just kidnap him and force him to do things. Just then, Donnie narrates how he always wanted a magical teddy bear as a child, but his dad told him he couldn't have one. He adds that, since he couldn't have his wish, he wants his son to get Ted. Donnie then leaves them alone, but as Ted says he's not playing, Robert angrily rips his ear from his body. This then leaves Ted with no option but to play along. However, he gets Robert to play hide and seek with him, but this only turns out to be a strategy to plan his escape. As Ted leaves Robert's room, he staples his ear back and walks around the house until he sees a phone. Meanwhile, Lori finds John and tells him to enter the car so they can talk. Before she can say anything, John gets several calls from a blocked number, and as he finally answers it, he hears Ted calling for help. Ted also mentions that he's stuck with Donnie and Robert, but that's all he's able to say before he gets caught. Instantly, John remembers where he kept the card Donnie gave him. As he finds it, he sees Donnie's address and tells Lori to head there. Just as they arrive, they see Donnie driving Ted away. Lori follows Donnie's car, and after a while of chasing the car around, Ted manages to escape and run into a football stadium, but Donnie follows him. Lori and John also follow them, but by the time they see Ted, he's already climbing on a pole, with Donnie still behind him. Unfortunately, Donnie gets hold of Ted, and as he tries to drag the teddy bear, he rips him into two and throws him down. He immediately realizes what he has done, and with the cops also arriving, he escapes. Meanwhile, Lori and John are left devastated by what happened to Ted. As they pick up all the parts that have been torn out, Ted can barely speak as he tells John never to let go of Lori again. After he says this, he goes unconscious. Lori and John still take him home, but after stitching him together, Ted doesn't wake up. John realizes that his magical teddy bear is gone, and this leaves him really sad. Later that night, while John is sleeping, Lori gets out of bed and goes to the window. As she stares at the stars, she wishes for Ted to wake up again. The following day, John wakes up to check on Ted. However, he's left sad to see that Ted is really gone. Suddenly, Ted wakes up and tells John that he's fine. The two friends look happy, and as they wonder what happened, Lori shows up with a smile on her face. John realizes that she was the one who made a wish to save Ted, and he thanks her. She then says she only did it because she saw how much Ted mattered to him. As the lovebirds talk about how much they love each other, John proposes to Lori and asks her to marry him. She looks happy and agrees to spend the rest of her life with him. Days later, John gets married to Lori, with all their friends, including Ted, being present at the wedding. After they exchange vows, John and Lori then leave the church, looking really happy.